So there are two common questions we hear about the new XLOOKUP function. The first is, are there scenarios where I should be using VLOOKUP instead of XLOOKUP? And the second is, do I need to even learn VLOOKUP now that we have the new XLOOKUP function? Hi, my name is John, and I'm going to answer both of those questions in this video. If you're new to our channel, here at Excel Campus, we share tips and strategies to help save time with your everyday task and become an Excel hero. So if that's something that interests you, uh, consider subscribing, and let's get into it. So before I answer the questions, it's important to understand what XLOOKUP is. Here's the article where Microsoft announced XLOOKUP back in 2019 as the successor to VLOOKUP. And as you can see here, VLOOKUP was the third most used function in Excel, which is important and something I'll talk about later in this video. But essentially, XLOOKUP replaces VLOOKUP. So technically, there's not a lot of reasons why you would use VLOOKUP over XLOOKUP. On this uh, sheet here, I have some examples of XLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, and index match. And Microsoft really created XLOOKUP for three main reasons. The first being that VLOOKUP can break when you insert or delete columns. So if I was to insert a column here, you can see that my VLOOKUP is now returning the incorrect result, where both XLOOKUP and index match are returning the correct results. Now, of course, there's ways to fix that with VLOOKUP. But by default, that's kind of the behavior and one risk of using VLOOKUP. So XLOOKUP uh, fixes that. The other advantage of XLOOKUP is that it defaults to an exact match, where VLOOKUP uh, defaults to a, a closest match, and then you have to put false in here for the fourth argument to make it an exact match. And then finally, the last reason for XLOOKUP is that if uh, you're using index match instead of VLOOKUP, that can be a bit more of an advanced or complex formula like you see here where we have two functions in the formula. And XLOOKUP just simplifies that with just a single function, of course, and only three uh, arguments are required by default. So now that we know that XLOOKUP replaces VLOOKUP, are there scenarios where we would ever use VLOOKUP instead of XLOOKUP? The answer is yes. And it really comes down to two reasons, which are compatibility and knowledge. So XLOOKUP is available on Microsoft 365 across all endpoints and Excel 2021. So that means if you are on Excel 2019 or earlier, or your users are on that version of Excel, they're not going to have XLOOKUP. And XLOOKUP is not backward compatible, meaning that if you are to create a file that contains XLOOKUP formulas and you send it to a user and they open it on Excel 2019 or earlier, they are not going to be able to use your file. Initially, they will see the results of the formula. However, if they try and recalculate it or modify the formula, uh, a pound name error will be returned and everything else and dependencies will break. So you definitely don't want to send people files with XLOOKUPs in them if they're on an older version of Excel. And this is important not only for within your organization, but also if you're sharing the file externally. So maybe everyone in your organization is on Microsoft 365 and you can use XLOOKUP within your organization. But if you're sending a file to a vendor or a contractor or something like that, then you want to make sure that they're on the uh, version of Excel that has XLOOKUP as well. Otherwise, this will get you in trouble and you'll have to spend extra time uh, converting your XLOOKUPs back to VLOOKUP or index match. So that's really important. The other reason, like I said, is knowledge. You want to make sure that not only do people have XLOOKUP, but they also understand how it works. And of course, this can be a great opportunity for you to teach them about the new XLOOKUP function. One uh, common criticism I would think of XLOOKUP and, and probably the biggest one or really the only one is that there are six arguments. So VLOOKUP has four arguments. XLOOKUP has six arguments, which is great because it has more features and functionality. However, it can look a little bit intimidating to a common user that's just uh, used to using VLOOKUP. So you want to make sure they understand what those additional arguments are. Uh, the value or the yeah, if not found argument is great because we don't have to wrap v, uh, the XLOOKUP in if error. So again, an advantage there. Uh, you also have search mode, so you can search uh, in a specific order. And so these are some great additional features. But again, it might be a bit intimidating for someone in, in, if it's their first time seeing an XLOOKUP function. So just make sure they know and understand, again, when you're sharing that file out to other users, how the XLOOKUP function works. And of course, we have videos on XLOOKUP as well. I'll put links to those in the description below. So if you want to share those, 
uh, videos and training resources with your uh, coworkers or anyone else you're sending this to, uh, feel free to do that too, to make sure they understand how XLOOKUP works. So for the second question, should I still learn VLOOKUP? My answer to that is also yes. And I'm gonna refer back to this announcement article here for XLOOKUP as it contains some golden nuggets in it here. Uh, first of all, it says that VLOOKUP has been around for 35 years and it's the third most popular function in Excel. That means a lot of VLOOKUP formulas have been written. My guess is that billions of VLOOKUP formulas have been written, and I could even be low on that number. I could be very low on that number. The point is that there are a lot of VLOOKUP formulas existing out there. So even if you live in this kind of little bubble where you're on the latest version of Excel and everyone in your organization is, there's still a really good chance that you're going to encounter VLOOKUP formulas throughout your career. And also remember that a lot of people are still on older versions of Excel. So they're still writing VLOOKUP formulas today in 2022, even though the replacement is available. So therefore, there are going to be VLOOKUP formulas around for a very long time into the future. And it'll be good to understand how VLOOKUP works. You might need to modify formulas. You might need to write them uh, for users that, aren't, that don't have XLOOKUP yet and there's a lot of reasons that you should learn VLOOKUP. So we also have resources for learning VLOOKUP as well, a popular video on that. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So hopefully this helps you uh, determine when to use VLOOKUP instead of XLOOKUP. Of course, if you have any other questions or suggestions on this, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.